Broadcasting live from MSU Newsroom Shah Alam. Good morning, Malaysia. This is Sharifah Sarah, serving you with the latest and most leading news of the day. For the headlines, the problem of unemployment during and after MCO, and survey shows many who lost their jobs are self-employed. And next will be five ways to earn income well while staying at home. The problem of unemployment during and after MCO and survey shows many who lost their jobs are self-employed. At a time when everything seems to be falling, whether global oil prices, gross domestic product or the global economy. There are a few micro-economy indicators in which values are raising, one of which is employment. Here's Noor Izani Wahida for the details. Earlier this month, the Department of Statistics Malaysia DOSM released the results of a survey titled The Effects of COVID-19 on Economic and Individuals with a total of 168,182 respondents nationwide. According to the study, almost 47% of self-employed workers had lost their jobs. About 19,677 respondents. As for those who still had jobs, 55.5% reported a decrease in income by over 90%. If the percentage is taken on an actual scale, this means that out of 2.86 million self-employed workers, 1.34 million workers have lost their jobs and almost 540,000 experienced a 90% decline in income. Although, if the Department of Statistics Malaysia said these are not the official statistics, they can still be used to explain the current situation. At the same time, on the global front, the International Labour Organization estimates that nearly 25 million workers will lose their jobs with loss of incomes of approximately 14 ringgit and 80 cent trillion if the virus is not controlled. Meanwhile, the Malaysian Institute of Economic Research estimates that about 2.4 million Malaysians will lose their jobs due to the COVID-19 crisis. This is Norizani Wahida reporting. Back to you, Sharifasa. Thank you, Norizani Wahida, for your report. The next news will be 5 ways to earn extra income while staying at home. Government assistance has been granted many Malaysians to strive in gaining alternative income sources. Most of them are having difficulties surviving day to day and for those with families the effort of having to meet the needs of extra people makes the whole situation harder and stressful with this in mind we want to provide you with some ways to earn extra income with the side of hustle utilizing your internet connection to increase your cash flow here's Noor Africa for your details now here's a job that's a little bit offline by really fun being online for success if your cooking is with so many competitors and people around you love it, why not venture into selling homemade meals from home? With technology, it's easy to market your product. You can utilize social media to promote your baked goods or some scarcious meals. Just by using your phone, camera, and simply copywriting, you can provide a good advertisement for your business. Secondly, the internet is the key to win this MCO, and with all the school closed, Parents will need all the help you can get. If you are already a teacher, then online tutoring or teaching is new is not new to you. Check out Champion Tutor by Private Tutor and Part-Time Tutor Malaysia. Or if you have friends who are already in the industry, don't be afraid to reach out. The rates starts at 10 ringgit to uh, 150 ringgit per hour, depending on qualifications and experience. This is North Africa reporting. Back to you, Shalifa Sarah. Thank you, North Africa, for your report. Earning extra income can be a good way for you to increase your cash flow and allowing you to save more. It might not be easy to prevail, especially when you are forced to take unpaid leave or being sacked from your previous job. But when there's a will, there's always a way. You can come out of this stronger and earn new experience along the way. This has been Sharifah Sarah. See you again next time.